Nice to see you. What year are you? Are you first year, second year, third year? Second year? Some of you are first year? Any third year students? A few? Okay. Can you understand me? Okay. A little bit? Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, my name is... Yes, just like the chocolate. Okay? It's like the chocolate. Alright? I am Sean Clanky. I am a professor at Otaru University of Commerce. Uh, I am the head of the English department at Otaru University of Commerce. And I'm going to uh, first tell you a little bit about myself. I'm going to then tell you a little bit about English classes at Otaru Shodai. And then we're going to have a little practice. Okay? Sound good? Okay. Where am I from? Where do you think I'm from? Canada? America? Anyone else? No? Yes. I am American. All right. I am from the state of Illinois. Illinois Shoe. All right. America. All right. The lakes are here. My state is right here. This is Illinois. Right here. Chicago. And my town is a little town north of there called Rockton. Very small town. Okay. When I lived there, when I was a student, only 2,000 people. Okay. Now, maybe 5,000 people. Kind of small. Okay. Smaller than Takikawa. Uh, I have been in Japan, I think, 16 years. 16 years in Japan. I lived in Osaka for two years. So I speak a little Osaka then. And I've lived in Sapporo since 1999. Uh, I like You are so lucky. You are lucky to live in Hokkaido. Beautiful. Well, man. today, video. <laughs> <laughs> but you have mountains. You have the mountains. Yeah. Yeah, there's some mountains out there. You have beautiful weather. You have four seasons. Summer, winter, spring, fall. What season is it now? What season is it now? Fall. Yes, it's fall or autumn. Okay? And you have the best food in Japan. The best food. Okay. The best seafood, the best ramen, the best soup curry, the best everything is in Hokkaido. Okay? So you're very lucky. And you have lots of vegetables. Okay? When I was driving today, I saw lots and lots and lots of onions. Maybe. Everywhere. Okay, lots of onions. You have corn. Alright? Toki. You have pumpkins. You have everything. Alright? In America, where I come from, we have the same. The same thing. Lots of corn comes from my area. Okay? Corn. And also soybeans. And soybeans are edamame. So that's where I'm from. And like I said, I really like Hokkaido. So I'll probably be here until I die. <laughs> OK, maybe. Uh, I like it here. And I have been at Otaru Shodai since 2003. Okay. Before Otaru Shodai, I was at Hokudai for four years. And then I moved to Otaru Shodai. Okay. I like Otaru Shodai. Very good school. 
Like studying English? Yes? Good! Because we're the best for English. Okay? And today I want to talk to you a little bit about how we teach, how some of us teach the first year classes in English. Okay? So, first year English. English conversation. Okay. Now, I see they've given you the handout. Okay, you have the handout. The handout is from one of my books. Okay, this is a book that I wrote with three of my students. So, three Shodai students and me, we wrote this book together. Okay? And this is one of the books that I use in first year, for first year students. Okay? Let me show you what we do in first year class, first year conversation. Okay? Now, the first difference is that today's class is 40 minutes. Okay? At Otaru Shodai, it's 90 minutes. And in my classes, in my first year classes, we start with speaking, we do more speaking, and we end with speaking. Lots of speaking. Okay? So, the first uh, 10 or 15 minutes, we do warm-up. Okay? Warm-up is conversation. And we do it in small groups. So let me give you an example. Okay. Uh, with 5, 10, 12, 17, 21 students. Okay. All right. You four are a group. You five are a group. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> Girls, you three will be a group. Okay, you four will be a group. And you five will be group. Okay? Just boys turn your chairs around so that you're in a little group. Okay? Just let you face each other. Japanese. Come to English class, we've got to switch. Okay? So warm up is so that we can switch. Okay. And I will say in my class, for the next five minutes, I want you to talk about what you did last weekend. Talk about your weekend. Okay? Something like that. Okay? We'll do it shorter. For three minutes, <laughs> I want you to talk about last weekend. Okay? Last weekend. Okay, that's okay? Go. What did you do? Yeah. What did you do last weekend? How many hours did you study English? <laughs> One hour? That's all? <laughs> A little bit? Okay, ask someone else. What did you do last weekend? <laughs> what kind of magic? What did you do? 
J-pop. Who's your favorite singer? Okay. Ask them a question. Sometimes we use easy topics, music, okay, sports. Sometimes we use difficult topics, okay, taxes, vacation, okay, uh, business, okay, something like that. Sometimes it's more difficult, okay. But when you finish first year and second year and third year, we want you to be able to talk about any topic. And change topics, change topics, change topics. Okay? It becomes very natural, very easy. Because one of our goals, goal, is for you to think in English. Okay? This is one of our goals. We want you to be able to think in English. Okay? Right? Sometimes I speak English. Alright? I can switch to French. Okay? Change, change, change. That's what we want you to be able to do. So the warm-up exercises are so you can get into your English mind. After that, then we have the main topic.
this is usually from the book. Okay. And today, you have, should the university year begin in September? Okay. This says university, we can change it to high school. Okay. Because if university starts September, high school starts September, it will be the same. Okay. So the question is, should the high school year begin in September? Okay. Now, it starts in April, right? When you entered Takikawa Nishikoko, it started in April, right? Yes. <laughs> Good. All right. But some people want to change it to September because many countries start in September. And there are good reasons for changing, and there are good reasons for staying the same. Okay. So, what I want you to do is a little bit of reading. Okay? A little bit of reading. Just a background reading. Okay? Just take five minutes and read the background reading, please. Read it to yourself. Five minutes.
Okay, most of you are finished reading the short little reading. Now on the next page, page 12, there are three opinions, okay? Three different people and three opinions. Now, I want you to read the three opinions and I want you to think, who do I agree with? Which opinion do I agree with? Who do I disagree with? Okay? Read these and think about that for a minute. Okay? Two minutes. you have read the three opinions, right here, I want you to write your opinion. Okay? I think A is right or B is right. We should do this. Try that. Okay? Write your opinion right here. There's a couple of expressions that will help you, okay? I agree with because or I think. Okay. You can say, I agree with this idea, some people are saying this, or I agree with Ryoko, or that's okay too.
one more minute. people have an answer. Okay. Now I want you to break into your groups again, like before, and I want you to talk about the question, should we change the system? Should we start in September? Or should we start continue in April? And why? Okay, give your opinion. Okay? Three minutes in your groups. somebody else. You got your answer. What do you think? Your first year. That's good. <laughs> good. Okay, continue. You guys talk together. Okay. Did you hear her answer? Listen to her answer. She's got a good answer. Thank <laughs> you. 
chapter like that. So we start with 10 or 15 minutes warm up, do the main topic, we'll do a whole chapter in the book, one chapter or two chapters in the book, and then we have warm down. Warm up, warm down. Okay? At the end of class, it's just like the beginning of class. More conversation practice. More practice, more practice, more practice. Okay? So let me change it. All right. We started by talking about last weekend, right? When we started today, we talked about last weekend. Now, for the next three minutes, I want you to talk about next weekend. What are you going to do next weekend? Okay. Future tense or present progressive tense. Okay. I am going to or I will go. Okay. So, for three minutes, talk about what you're going to do next weekend. School trip. Where? Uh, uh, and school trip. Uh, 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 Great. Wonderful. What are you guys doing to the next weekend? Next weekend. I will go. I'm going to. Oh, <laughs> Are you a good soccer player? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do? Okay. Study English? Good answer. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah. School trip. Okay, great. Are you excited? Are you excited? Yes? Is it your first time to Kyoto? First time? Second time? Very good. What are you going to do? I'm going to go to school. Do you play soccer? Are you a bit of a soccer fan? You're right. What is your position? What kind of rice? Let's say what. Do you have games? Yeah, I used to do the same thing. When I was high school, I used to do the same thing. Are you going to do it? 